Hello everyone, this is Dial20 and welcome to episode 14 of Dial20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Extra Code. I'm farming myself some witches. Need some more redstone for what we're about to get into today. Uh, so the plan for today is to get into that mechanical engine thing, the diesel engine. I'm thinking that'll be uh, the next, next appropriate course of action for us. We'll see how right I am about that. I'm guessing the witches got spawned outside. And when they fall, they let him go in and close the gateway. That's okay. How'd I do? I got a little over a stack. That ain't terrible. Some spider eyes too, which will be nice, because like I said last episode, uh, we totally need some spider eyes for what we're going to be doing here. So let me just put all this junk away. Sugar and glowstone and more redstone and that thing and gunpowder and that should be cool sweet all right so uh last episode uh we worked on uh getting all that stuff going and by the way i want to check out this this repairs and soul fire thing so apparently that's going to repair can i see? oh it's showing me something durability 47 out of 200 is that like actually repairing isn't that what it says it repairs when it's in I think so. I think it's repairing a little bit. I'll let it chill for a minute. Um, hopefully it doesn't like despawn entirely, but worst case, I can pretty easily make more at this point. Um, so last episode, we got uh, all this pedestal stuff going, right? Which is actually working really well, and we have tons of resources, and I'm very pleased. So that's awesome. Um, oh, except that we're getting... That's right, we get, we get gravel sometimes, don't we? I think it's rare, but we do occasionally get gravel, don't we? Or flint, I mean. Do we not get flint? I'm not actually seeing. I think I think it's a chance that you'll get flint on that thing. Because I think I think the pedestal just breaks whatever block is under it. So like or or it treats it like it's breaking the block that you would be getting. So, like, that's why in this pack we're getting cobbled netherrack, because it's, like, breaking netherrack, and that's what you get. Uh, and and the same, um, I guess, is happening with gravel. Occasionally we might get flint, in which case I would make this a double drawer um, that does flint and gravel. So today's episode, what I my plan is this. I expanded a platform over here. We're going to use this platform's create stuff to create all the things to make the new platforms create stuff. And then I'll more than likely run a bunch of stuff over to here. Um, that's, that's roughly the plan. Uh, is it, is it a fully fleshed out plan? Eh, I don't know. That might be a stretch to, to argue that it is or is not, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Cool. Okay. Looking good, right? And I can just do a little bit of manual kelp farming for now. I mean, it's not that big a deal. And I'll, I'll automate it once we get a little better infrastructure up and running. Deal? Cool. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put you guys away. And then how's my sword doing? I don't want this thing to despawn on me now. Oh, yeah, look at that. It did, did repair itself. Neat. That's awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is, real quick, I'm going to snag uh, some of this stuff. And we want to make... A little bit of uh, sandpaper so we're gonna need paper which I think I get from sugar I should really uh, do something with sugar cane like really really do something with sugar cane like really 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 do something with sugar cane like probably should stop talking about doing something with sugar cane and do something with sugar cane what I might do uh, let's get our wand here I have a plan I don't think there's snad in the pack, unfortunately. But uh, what I can do is this. You ready? Boop, boop. And then uh, what I'll do is this. And then this. That should be cool. Perfect. And 
And I'll just swap that out for sand. Do I need to do that? I always forget. Sugar cane can go in grass, can it? Maybe. Okay, and then the three sugar cane that I have left. And again, I could always sieve more, so it's not like, you know, if I lose it, I lose it and I'm in trouble, right? But perfect. And then, you know, that'll grow a little bit and we'll be cool. And I'll just continue to expand it. All right, good. Uh, paper, I'm going to put, even though it doesn't really make sense, I'm going to put the paper in this chest because it's kind of, it just makes sense to me that that's where it might go. So then you, and we get some rose quartz, maybe four of them is what I need. Because ultimately I need 12 um, mechanical crafters and I get three per craft, right? So I need, I need, I need, yeah, I need four sets. Beautiful. Okay, so now you're done, you're done, you're done. Uh, now I just need some iron. And you can probably just go in there for the time being. And yeah, I see a wandering trade over there. I'm not too fussed about it. You know what? I might get more iron. Did I ever get more iron? No. Um, remind me how I get that again. Um, it's iron catalyst is a rotten flesh and source gem in the middle. So that's not too bad. What I'm going to do is kill some mobs over here real quick just to get um more source and we'll be right back all right so that's a half full jar of source which is cool i can wind up throwing that over here and let's get a little bit more iron i'm just gonna smelt this off camera for the most part um so i'll come back like once i've got all the ingredients ready to go is that cool is that fair i think that should be good so yeah you're gonna go over here and then it's just gonna be you and you. Isn't that it? Did I do something wrong? Rotten flesh, source gem, enchanting apparatus. It doesn't have to go like here, does it? Shouldn't. That's not a thing usually. Oh, right, because of you. I'll put the redstone here, and then that should be less of a problem now. Oh, because you're also included, that's right. Yeah, I need to I need to move this out of the way so that it's less of a of an in the way thing. Alright, now we're back. Alright, so I'm also gonna need zinc catalyst, which is uh gunpowder and a source gem. Because I need to make brass. So brass will be copper and zinc mixed together. Now we obviously got a little bit of zinc, but then I used a bunch of it for uh, for stuff, right? So are you done-ish yet? You're getting there. A little bit of a ways to go. Or are you draining, draining? Eh, you might be getting close to low. I made a bunch more uh, enriched peat just now. You can see I, I harvested my peat farm, but I haven't set up a new, a new basin of it, but we'll get there. So I'm gonna drop you out. I'm gonna let you run. Uh, for a few minutes. I'll probably need another bucket's worth, though I have no idea how much is actually in there. We'll figure it out. All right, uh, smelted up a bunch of new ingots. Uh, now I'm cooking up my brass, getting that stuff going. So then we need uh, this dude, that dude. How about eight we'll start with? Not a bad start, right? Okay, uh, so these guys are all done. Uh, I should be cool with my electron tubes. I probably need to stamp out a little bit more of you. Uh, I might need, this might, yep, clip my system, that's okay. I can fix that easily. See, this is why we're updating Cree, because eh, nothing's working. Like, uh, I mean, it works, everything works. It's just a big hassle to like get what I want done done. Um, so I want to, I want to get the, the whole new engine thing going. Plus I want to check it out because I've never used this diesel engine. So I'm kind of interested to see how it plays out. Cool. Beautiful. And then you guys can stop for a sec. So then, um, if I want to make my mechanical crafters, I'm going to need four of you. 
Uh, and then over here, we can make our four mechanical crafters if I make four of these. And that should be sufficient uh, to make my diesel engine. So that's cool. So that's step one, 12 mechanical crafters, good to go. Um, now, in addition to that, uh, I'm going to need my uh, brass hand and deployer for something. I forget exactly what. Um, it's not you. Uh, it's not you. What did I need those for? I don't quite remember. Uh, I think it's I think it's the sturdy sheets. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, yes. So sturdy sheets. Uh, we're going to need some lava. And we're going to need a couple uh, presses here. Now, in fairness, uh, that is not a deployer. I thought there was something I needed a deployer for for you. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm mixing something up. I guess not. I thought I needed a deployer for something. I know I know I do need a deployer for something. I just kind of forget what. Like what's 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 the thing that I need to do? It's nothing like that. Um, let's see what recipe sequences we have. There's a bunch of cool ones. Uh, I wouldn't mind precision mechanisms, by the way. See, that doesn't actually have any deployers. Nope, nope. Oh, that's right, for uh, coke bricks, right? Yes, blast bricks and coke bricks. Uh, that's what I need the deployers for. Well, let's get that going after we get the diesel engine going. Is that fair? Yes. All right. So now what are the chances um, that I'm going to be able to, uh, and now this is gonna be very messy, I'm not gonna lie, right? Uh, well, this is gonna be exceedingly messy, but I'm just gonna like basically get things built and then rebuild it all, right? That's kind of the plan. Um, so to make, my diesel engine, these are the components we're gonna need. The main one being the sturdy sheet, like that's the big deal. Everything else is easy, like I've made already or can make easily enough. Um, the big one is the sturdy sheet. That's going to need a spout uh, and a couple of those things. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I technically need to, to run that along a belt, if I'm not mistaken. I think I can kind of manually do that. Let me see if I'm right about that. So I'm just going to need um, one of you with copper on it and a depot, right? Um, so the spout, I've got one of these. If it's not in there, I put it in here. There we go. Cool. And then the depot is simply this, this, and not a zinc ingot. Where did I put those things? In here. Right? So tell me I'm wrong, but I think I can take uh, a bucket of lava. Where are all my buckets? There they are. Okay. Um, which I'm going to get with blaze powder real quick. And we'll obviously get more blaze in a bit. I'll come back once I get this. All right, so sturdy sheets need half a bucket of lava and then a couple stamps, right? Uh, they come from obsidian dust, which I've got a little obsidian. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to get lava because uh, right now I feel like I don't have a lot of options for lava. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I should be able to just do like, like this. And this, and, oh, that's not right. Uh, that's right, you can't put directly in the spouts, can you? Um, can you? I wonder if I could fluid hopper it into there. Don't I have a fluid hopper over here somewhere? I think I have it in my miscellaneous. That's a wooden hopper. There we go. Can move and collect fluids. I don't know if this works, but we'll find out. Never actually tried this. Oh, haha, <laughs> it totally worked. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's unprocessed obsidian sheet. So then I just do this, and we do one, 
two, and we've got a sturdy sheet. Nice. That works, right? Okay, cool. Uh, now for my engine, uh, I need two of those. So let's do that again. So it's one bucket of lava. Technically three buckets of lava per engine. It's going to be rough, guys. It's going to be a little rough. We'll make it happen, though. So then you go there, zoinks, and you go there, and that's cool. So there's those two sturdy dudes. Um, now the other pieces of the diesel engine are just going to be uh, redstone engineering blocks and light engineering blocks. I know I have a light engineering block, so that's cool. Uh, the redstone engineering block. I might, what I'm going to do actually is remove you from the to-do list and re-add it so it's at the top left there, just so it's easier to access. So I need two brass sheets, a couple copper, like four coppery dudes. A couple brass sheets. And then what else do I need here? Um, some iron rods or some shafts. So I'll do the shaft approach, obviously, right? That's way easier. Um... So I need four of these and I get two per craft. So if I just take two of those, we should be cool. I think so. So that would be you. There's the four. That, that, uh, we're gonna need a couple fluid tanks and then I need the redstone engineering block, which is gonna need you. And you, sweet, okay. Here's a stick. Thank you. And then four of these. And this will get me the engine itself. Okay. Uh, what other components do I need here? So I'm gonna actually put three of these away here because I don't need all three of them at the moment. And this could probably manage itself in here for now. That should be cool. So let's just recap this real quick. So you guys are gonna go, and I need to rotate these. Uh, let's just have everything go down. And then you can go over there to that side uh, and that'll be cool. Then I need my barrels and or chests. I've got an extra barrel in here, which is cool. So I can use you to get one of these, and then we need some of this. And that looks pretty good to me, right? So one, two, three, four, right? And then redstone and light. So redstone and light. And then tank, pipe, and then sheets on the side. Tank, pipe, and that should be cool, right? Now, if I were a smart person, I probably would have positioned these all one block further ahead than I did, but that's okay. Boop. 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 Looks like it's working. Sweet. Uh, it's a little bit slow, obviously, but that's all right. The, the stress impact stuff, like, it, we didn't want it to be too fast, right? Um, and then you can sit there, and that'll be my diesel engine, and that'll be cool. So I'm excited about that. So now, we, we kind of did this backwards, right? Like, we got the engine before we got the fuel for it, but, ah, my goodness, what happened? Oh, that's right. You guys need to be facing that direction. My bad. All right, which, which, which way did these go? Yep. You and you. Yes. Get back to work, you. I wonder if I, uh... Might be a little bit faster. Hey, we can handle that speed upgrade, right? Yeah, a little bit faster. I always like watching Create Crafting. Sweet. All right. 
So now let's look at fueling this bad boy. So first thing we're going to need uh, is the plant oil. Now that's not terribly hard. We just need to do that, right? Vegetable oil. Uh, we get 0.25 millibuckets for uh, one. So that means four seeds would be 100 millibuckets. That means 40 seeds would be one bucket. Yes, we agree. I think that yes, we agree. And again, recognizing fully that this is a giant mess of nonsense right now. But the whole point of doing what I'm doing is making this less nonsensical. And I should probably just make another batch of these. So if I got 40 seeds right now, um, that would be our first bucket of oil. Okay. How did that happen? There we go. 40 seeds. Right in there. Vegetable oil. Any forge seeds. No heating required. Mechanical press. Basin. Basin. Meet mechanical press. Hello, sir, please to be stamping. Actually, why aren't you working? That doesn't make a lot of sense. That should be working. Am I wrong? Shouldn't that be... Shouldn't that be working? Yeah, I totally just didn't have that thing rotated, did I? <laughs> oh, dire. Oh, dire. I better go get myself some more coffee. I'll be right back. All right, so uh, that's one bucket of vegetable oil. So that's cool. Done and done. And that should be a quest completion. Awesome. Cool. Ooh, I get an overgrowth seed from Batania. That's kind of a nice reward. Uh, and a straw. I'm going to hold off on collecting those yet. Now, ethanol is made um, with a basin and a basin lid. No heating required. Does it need some kind of, like, there's a gauge on it. So I guess we'll see how this machine works. I have no idea. This is new. This is from, this is something different. How do we make basin lids? Uh, so we just need a clock, which is four gold sheets, which seems pretty doable. Oh, right. Perfect. And that would be you and you. So talk to me about a basin lid. Basins, by the way, easy enough to make at this point. Cool. So I need ethanol, which is spider eye, sugar, and a uh, hundred millibuckets of water. So the water part's easy. Sugar is also relatively easy. And spider eyes shouldn't be terrible for me. So if I got 10 of these, that would be cool, right? Speaking of sugar, how's my sugar cane doing over there? Hey, look, it's growing. Good job. That'll do for now. So do I just like click this in here? Do I, do I remove the lid? So bucket, drop, drop, and then lid goes on. It says no heating required. Uh, is there like a... Is there a ponder for this? Let's see. Setting up basin lids allow you to process items in basins. Give them some sugar and bone meal. Okay. Ethanol will be created. Uh, so you say. Oh, somehow that got on there. That's not, we don't want a recipe set, right? Definitely don't want a recipe set. Do you hear something? <gasps> oh, ethanol. Hello. 
Okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah, no, somehow I accidentally clicked a recipe on there. Um, but yes, now we're, we're making ethanol. That's cool. So it just sits there and chills. I can, I can, I can live with that. I'll be back when it's done. Now the last piece that we need for this, we get 100 millibuckets and 100 millibuckets equals 200 millibuckets of biodiesel. So ultimately this will give us two buckets of biodiesel, which hopefully lasts a while in this generator we're about to make. But first I need ever burning air, uh, which is a smelted version of air essence. And an air essence in an imbuement chamber is just a raw air shard. Um, so just get a raw air shard and it goes in the imbuement chamber and we're done. Like, is that seems easy enough, right? It seems like it. Yeah. And we have some air shards. Those, I believe, are creeper drops, right? Uh, Enderman drop them. And spiders drop them. Okay, so they're not creeper drops. Um, so presumably I just do this. Yeah, and then it's just going to sit there and take a moment. Well, that's not too bad. Might as well uh, make another one, right? Raw air shard. No harm in making two, I assume. Cool. All right, we'll be back when all the crafting is done. All right, so uh, got myself the air essences that we needed. I'm just going to plop them right here for now and let that guy smelt it up. Pretty sure that's right, yeah. Yes, lava. I always mix up which one's lava and which one's uh, not lava. <laughs> but look, we get, we get 16 ever-burning air per one air essence. So that's kind of cool. So now ultimately what we want is biodiesel. So we want to mix without heating ever burning air. So we're gonna need 10 ever burning air. Am I correct on that? Along with my bucket of these guys, right? So one, two, and that. And that's going to be Two buckets of biodiesel, yes. And I went and made a tank so I could scoop out these two buckets of biodiesel. Huzzah! Biodiesel. Nice. Less bad for the environment. Fair enough. But that's a good, good bit of quest progressing for one episode, I'd say. So two buckets of biodiesel. Uh, we can turn you off now. So ultimately, uh, what we have now is a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I'm going to collect all those rewards in a minute and store them, you know, wherever. Um, but the gist is, is now we have a way to get um, a pretty decent amount of, 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 uh, of, of rotational energy, right? Because each one of these is 256, right? I'm pretty sure this guy gets up to 21... Uh, so like this would be equivalent to like eight or nine of these water wheels for far less, um, trouble, right? Yeah, that looks cool. And then there's other fuels that we're going to be able to use this for. And there's other things that we're going to be able to use this for. So I'm pretty sure if I, if I'm, if I'm reading ahead in the quest logs clearly enough, um, my understanding is this is going to be a major thing for us going forward for a little bit. So we should like... Definitely. Oh, I get a source jar. Huh? I'll take an extra source jar. Sure, why not? I should absolutely be getting this right now because, like, I think it's going to play a big role going forward, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness, look how many things are in here. I guess we could eat. Enjoy looking. Oh my goodness, look at all the baby skeletons. I hate baby skeletons, they're so hard to hit. Wow, there's a lot of them. It's not even the mob drops that I want. It's, uh... It's really, it's really, I want the, uh... Make sure that this is all... There we go. It's the, it's the source. That's really what I want right now. The mob drops ain't tough either. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Ooh, I got a I got a backpack. 
that's kind of nice. Nothing in it, but neat. Uh, let me put away um, some stuff real quick, just so I can get in here and uh... that looks pretty cool. I do like that it gives you all the drops too. Like that's pretty neat. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I guess spider eyes is another thing. Also, don't forget to close that door. I always forget to close that door, and then shortly thereafter, a uh, a centipede comes out and murders me. <laughs> because centipedes are actually really hard to fight on their own. Like, no joke, centipedes are brutal. So, take that as a pro tip. Uh, I guess I'll hang on to this backpack just in case I find a use for it in the future. I've been putting you in here. Oh, look at that refined glowstone helmet. Okay, I'll take it. Sure. It's not a terrible thing. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is try running this engine because I want to understand how it works. Now, the one downside to the engine from what I've seen is it doesn't look like there's a redstone control. It consumes fuel constantly while in operation of rate about two millibuckets per second or a bit over eight minutes per bucket. The only way to turn them off is by stopping the fuel going to them, but they will at least always burn what is in their buffer. Now, I don't know how big their buffer is, so that's what we're about to find out. Uh, it looks like a bucket, but here's what I've figured out. If I were to, can I like, oh, you go on top, huh? Okay, I guess I could do that. Don't lose that thing now. So fuel goes in the top, right? So if I opened up this with a whitelist regulate mode and put biodiesel in there, I'm hoping that this works. Uh, I think this will only drain 50 millibuckets at a time. So let's get um, our shaft here ready to, to do its thing. And then, am I right about that? Yeah, see how it's keeping... That's pretty cool. So I wanna see how this works. So it's in regulate mode. It doesn't even just keep in 50. It, that's neat. Okay. And then it puts another 50 in when it's empty. Interesting. And then it'll run until it burns through those 50. Okay. I can I can live with that. Now the one downside is I don't think these um these fluid transporters can respond to a redstone signal in any way, shape, or form. I don't think they have redstone interaction. So it will not uh, be easy for me, at least at this point, to be like, hey, button or lever. But in fairness, all I have to do is like right click this thing and then it starts running and then right click it again and it stops um, and it'll run for a little bit. So if I'm smart, right, what I would do, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste a little diesel demonstrating this, but what I'm gonna do is basically like click, click, and then it's gonna run for a little bit. So if I always do that whenever I'm gonna use the engine, that will be a way to be conservative with our fuel, okay? So that's that's the plan. I'm gonna hang on to this biodiesel bucket. So what I'll probably wind up doing is a combination of water wheels and diesel engines. Now, um, the diesel engine itself had something about being quiet. Engine silencers are used to make diesel engines silent. Silencers. Uh, that ain't terrible. Just any kind of wool, some iron plates. I can manage that. Or I could just, you know, muffle it too. Um, oh, look at that. See? Ain't need no iron for that. Cool. All right, so that works for me. I'm cool with that. Let's, um, then let's move this guy. over to here. Now, the other cool thing about this is we can stack these. So they will um, they will be able to, you know, do more um, if we stack them. Like we can have multiples like running down a line here. So we should probably plan for there to be like at least a few of them eventually. Um, and that would be cool. We can also rotate the direction that they run in, which is kind of nice too. All right, and then just make sure that you are in regulate whitelist mode. I'm not quite sure what regulate mode means, but I think it it puts like a small amount in, um, and then that's that's about it. 
it doesn't put any more. So it does, without regulate mode in, it would pour all the fluid in, which I assume this can hold a bucket's worth. So we'd probably waste a good amount of fuel without regulate mode. Just out of curiosity, fluid transporters, I can definitely make right now. Yeah, just need thunder pearls, which are not expensive, and pistons only need uh, iron. So yeah, we can definitely make more of those if we decide, decide we need to. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here, come back next time, and when I get back, let's see uh, what we can see um, by way of making this stuff all cool, right? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna leave these here as a um, expansion of modular engines, and then we'll have basically like two create islands. We'll have the historically semi-slow one, um, and uh, and this one, and we'll see what happens, right? So now one more question I actually have: If I turned you off, would you? Boop, boop. So he's definitely running and he's definitely wasting fuel, right? So with that said, I think that that's good to know, right? So you do 2048 stress. I don't know what your speed is, but you look pretty decent. Definitely better than water wheels in terms of speed. So we shouldn't need too many speed upgrades, which would be cool. All right. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Just for fun, I want to see what you wind up being at the current speed. 768, wow, okay. I'm starting to question this a little bit because that's like a significant chunk of my 2048 that I have available. Though in fairness, I could slow it down. Yeah, you're 512 at that rate. I wonder if I could, um, I don't know if I have control over you. See, with the, with the thing being there, I can't actually access it. That's, um, but it's, uh, it was only letting me change the direction. It wasn't letting me change the speed, but I could slow things down, right? Um, there's definitely things in Create that let me slow down the machines, which is kind of the opposite of what Dyer usually wants to do. But in fairness, like I'm trying to be conservative with my fuel. Um, so yeah, let me think about it a little bit. Uh, we'll come back next episode and play with this more. For now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.